Okay, we are now recording. Okay, so welcome everybody um, to Geography. My name is Mr. Hancock. Uh, we weren't able to meet last week because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Hopefully everybody had a good holiday weekend last week. And so I did send out a recording. Um, and now we're starting basically the second week in this class. Um, what we're going to go over today is basically natural disasters. Just so you know, this lesson is being recorded for learning purposes. And then I, I wasn't able to go over this last class. So because you weren't here because uh, of the holiday, but just my virtual expectations, remember, uh, make sure you're following along with the Nearpod lesson. I put that lesson uh, link in the chat. So if you jump on there, that'd be great. Another thing is use the chat tools respectfully and appropriately. Uh, always, in, I swear, all my classes, I teach like seven different classes here. Uh, but there are some topics that be, become heated and that kind of stuff, particularly in social studies, mostly like political kind of stuff. Um, so just be, be respectful and that kind of stuff up there. And then also uh, respond to questions and structure the first time that helps the, the flow of the class get going, okay? All right, so before I get into what we're going to get into today, I just want to do a, a quick recap of our class because we weren't here last time. So what I do is I put the lesson recording right here to the announcement so it's nice and easy to, uh, to get, okay? Um, if we go to course plan, this would be the other one I'd go into. This kind of shows you where we're at and where we're going, all that stuff. So as you see that we had no school last uh, Monday, and but we will have live class uh, every Monday. And what I do, and if we don't have live class, I'd have a recorded class. Like I sent out a recorded class on, um, on the 16th, and then I have everything. I give you like a week to get it done. So I say like Friday. And then usually either over the weekend or first thing Monday morning, I zero out your grades. So that that's why you may show the score you do right now. So if you go over to content, well, let me just go through here because I want to show you the very end here. So this class leads us all the way into March. The end of the block is uh, March 17th. Okay. So there is a little bit of time built in and everything like that. So we want to do that. Okay. Uh, so we go to content. Let's just look at this real quick. So everything's broken up into units. And I'm just opening up the, if you're a full-time student, I'll just be opening these up week by week. If you're a part-time student, these are already open for you. Now, there should be a couple of things you should have already done. You should have done the pretest. okay? Basically, you get points for doing the pretest. okay? If you haven't done it yet, go in and do it because you get points for doing it. That, that's all I'm asking for. So go in, just check your knowledge real quick. I want to see where you're at. Okay. Perfect. Then we had unit one this last week. If you didn't see uh, the recording, you can watch the recording here, or you can go through the Nearpod lesson, either one. That's what will give you the information that you need to pass. We just have a quiz there. Uh, a lot of it's on um, the five themes of geography. And so the five themes of geography kind of touch on each of the topics we're going to be going over. So like this week, unit one is uh, natural disasters. Then we have population pyramids, migration, culture, uh, political systems, and then you have the post-test. And that is the class right there. Okay. Uh, okay. Next here. Um, this will be lesson two. This is what we're going over today, natural disasters. Um, this goes over the theme of geography, human environment interaction. And so that's what we'll be kind of uh, going through today. And your lesson is going to, or your assignment for this week will be a uh, lesson two assignment, um, which goes over this, which I will show you how you can do that at the very end of class today. Okay. Did we ever do lesson one? Good question. Okay. So there was a recorded a uh, class sent out okay to everybody it was an email as well as posted on the announcements for this week it told you to do the pretest and then lesson one quiz okay that was last week okay so if you missed that you'll just have to go into here 
go to unit one, watch the lesson one recording, do the assignments, make sure you do the pretest as well. Okay, yeah, I'll take a look at that. Perfect. Okay, so let's start uh, going through all this. Okay, so what our lesson we're going to go over today is given a list of natural disasters, what you're going to do is you're going to go on Google and or a search engine or something like that. Uh, students will choose one natural disaster and research current events to determine when the last natural disaster occurred and how it affected the environment in the area uh, with 80% accuracy across one trial. Okay. So I will show you how that is done as we go through there. Gotta wait for this to come up. Sometimes these are slow. Okay, so I wanna check your knowledge real quick, okay? So everybody, uh, if you can get on the Nearpod, if you, if you just jumped in a little late and didn't hear the beginning of everything, jump on the Nearpod, and I want you to answer the question, what are natural disasters, okay? <laughs> okay, so we got some pictures of, uh, Looks like tornadoes coming through through there. That would be a natural disaster. Uh, that one's a little scary. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure it's a natural disaster. It may be a, a man-made disaster, right? Unless it was like a comet coming down and hitting the earth or something like that, okay? So that would be, um, and same with this one, probably a man-made one, but it, I guess if it was lightning strike, it could be. Right. Um, so you got okay. So some other other people put uh, earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, uh, hurricanes, floods, Mother Nature uh, torture device. Okay, uh, and we only think of that right is because we're affected by these natural disasters, right? Okay, uh, natural disasters are natural events that cause to harm humans, okay, tornadoes, volcanic eruptions. Natural disasters are events that cause uh, catastrophic damage, okay, volcanoes, sinkholes. Uh, I like this one. This is something that people don't think of very often, but drought, right? If something doesn't happen uh, for a long time, <coughs> excuse me, that's uh, it's drought, and that picture says a lot. We're going to watch a reel at the very end that goes over a lot of natural disasters, okay? Um, hurricanes right here. Hurricane Katrina, 2005. Fires seem to be a big one. Tsunamis, that would be scary. Yep, pretty scary there, okay? Very good, guys. Okay, so those would be what natural disasters are. Okay, so just kind of what we said, <clears throat> the world is always changing. Natural disasters change, which are so great that they may cause damage to the shape of the land or the lives of the people or other things living. Great changes happen deep within, inside the earth and on its surface. The changes on the outer part of the earth happens because of different kinds of weather. Okay, so some natural disasters, we've already listed quite a few, okay? Uh, volcanic eruption, uh, earthquakes, cyclones, or hurricanes, avalanches, dra uh, flood, drought, fire, brush fires. Um, okay, if I may add, isn't a big asteroid hitting the earth a natural disaster? Yes, be a natural disaster. Good comments. Okay, let's watch uh, this video real quick. It'll explain a little bit more. Natural disasters are part of the way the planet works. 
In the ideal world, we would all live in places that aren't affected by natural hazards. We wouldn't live near uh, coastlines. We wouldn't live along the San Andreas Fault in California. We wouldn't live underneath the volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest. But we live where our homes are. I mean, those are the places that are uh, important to us. And then there are many people that don't have choices. The museum is presenting this exhibit to describe these events to people so they have a better understanding of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, and tornadoes. But more than that... Okay, so let's answer this question real quick for those that are following along, okay? So you can either follow along here on the Nearpod or you can play it yourself if it is glitchy, as people say, okay? Which of the four natural disasters just mentioned is the most relevant while living in Utah? Volcanoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes. All right, so we put it in the chat. Everybody agrees that earthquakes are the most relevant for living in Utah, right? Volcano, I, I guess maybe like if uh, Yellowstone like erupted, I mean, we'd be gone. <laughs> uh, uh, hurricanes, we're really not going to see. Earthquakes, yes. Tornadoes, sometimes. There have been some tornadoes in my lifetime as I've lived in Utah. So very rare though, very rare, but you guys are all putting the right one. But more than that, to begin thinking about the risks associated with them. As climate warms, we expect there to be more severe storms, more severe droughts, more wildfires, and to some extent, over the last decade, we've seen just that. There's no way we're going to avoid the natural hazards on a dynamic Earth. But there are certainly ways that we can learn to live with it to uh, mitigate the risks to society. All right, and that's what we do. We got to learn to live with them, learn more about them. Um, and that's the whole field of geography that you could go into is looking at all of these things. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we're just going to go over some things, uh, some natural disasters. Because what I want you to think of right now is a natural disaster that you may want to research. Okay. So you want to think about that because that's going to be your assignment for the week is doing some research on one of these and, and doing it there. So volcanoes, of course, volcanic eruption is spurting out of the gap, um, out of gases, hot lava from the opening of the Earth's crust, pressure from deep inside the Earth, forced ash, gas, and molten rock, uh, rock to the surface. Here's another one, earthquake, that said the most probably relevant to Utah. Uh, an earthquake is a violent shake in the Earth's ground. Sometimes it's strong that can split around when parts of the earth called plates move against each other other gigantic shock waves move upwards towards the surface of the earth it's called earthquakes okay so that's one that you could do uh it'd be interesting so you can understand the difference between cyclones hurricanes tornadoes or typhoons um a cyclone is a fierce storm with storm winds that spin around in giant circles during the cyclone trees and uprooted buildings can be destroyed and cars can be um, overdone um, but basically a cyclone and a hurricane are the same thing they're just in different parts of the world and same thing with tornadoes or typhoons okay so that might be something to look at if that interests you the difference between those avalanche okay i put avalanche on here because that's something that we don't think of too often, but it actually affects us quite a bit here in Utah, okay? Avalanche is the movement of snow, ice, and rock down a mountain. Avalanches happen very sudden. You can move fast as up to 124 miles an hour. Um, avalanches can cause by snow melting quickly, freezing, melting again. 
um, someone skiing, snowmobiling, a lot of things happen there. Okay. Flooding. This is something if we get so much snowfall this year, we may have some flooding that happens, if you can believe that. We're in a drought, right? And now we're actually looking at having so much water come down at once that we might see some flooding this year. Um, but I think we know that it could come from the ocean, from a tsunami, or it could be caused by heavy rains, uh, fast snowfall. Um, all of those things can contribute uh, to a flood. Next one's drought. Okay. Um, Utah has been in a, you know, severe drought for so long. And I think uh, other places are even worse. So somebody showed the picture of the guy trying to row the boat on the, on there. That was a good one. I thought tornado it was North Salt Lake. Long time. Yeah, you're right. Uh, there was one that came in South Ogden. The tornado came in South Ogden two or three years ago. So, all right, forest fires, another big one, okay? Uh, somebody said they were going to California. Years ago, there's huge forest fires. Uh, Australia had a huge forest fi fire not too long ago that we'll see some pictures of. Um, a lot of things um, going on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this was uh, taken on from a couple of years ago, actually about 2020. So the start of the pandemic, okay? Now think about this too, is a virus a natural disaster, right? Something that was made, right? Over time, yep, COVID, okay? So this is gonna show, uh, I, I believe this came out like in March of 2020, but it showed all of the natural disasters that happened within the three months. So natural disasters happen every single day, just somewhere in the world, right? We hear probably little about it because we're so focused on where we're living and that kind of stuff. But you can do research with your assignment and find out what's going on right now in the world and what natural disasters are going on, okay? So let's watch this video. It's a little long, but it'll give you some fairly good visuals of some things. Um,
Okay, I'm just trying to check the intensity or the speed of the wind, and I'm applying full strength to try and open this. Ah, oh, it's a bit hard. Oh God. All right. <clears throat> well, hopefully that gave you some ideas of something you want to do as uh, you're going to be doing your assignment. Um, uh, this takes forever to pop up sometimes. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to ask you real quick, what is the most recent natural disaster that you remember hearing about? I feel like it's been a little bit since I've heard about a natural disaster, but I think I saw some on the news. Okay. Can't think of any. Hurricane Ivan. All right. Ooh, the avalanche right there. Okay. Potential risk in Provo Canyon. Uh... <laughs> The hurricane hit Florida, COVID, I guess, okay. Hurricane Ian, I remember that, that happened this last year too, right? Okay. Hurricane Ian. All righty, well, <clears throat> I think there's quite a few. So let me just kind of show you guys real quick uh what you need to do for your assignment so what you're going to do is you're going to come right here go into unit two assignment two click it when you open it up you're going to choose a natural disaster to research so you got to write that in so if you're going to say like you know uh hurricane there you go you got to type that in right next thing uh the natural disaster you choose in which country did the natural disaster most recently occur right um so I'm going to go in here, I'm going to Google, I'm going to be like hurricane and look up some stuff, see when the next last hurricane was and add that in. Okay. <clears throat> now this is what you need to do is now you need to describe what the natural disaster, whichever one, what it did for the environment. Okay. Uh, did it ruin houses did it cause mudslides did it you know did it kill anybody you know what i mean like all that kind of stuff did it change the way things were okay so that's all you got to do submit it then you got your thing done all right your assignment done so that leads us to the very end um of class today what you got to do do you guys have any questions I'll stop the recording, but I'll stay after any questions. If you don't have any, you can take off.